Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to my tech farm. Atomsex sent me some products for the testing and uh, in this video I will test their F3 matrix cutting panel. If you're not familiar with laser cutting, definitely you want to place something uh, below that cutting object to protect the desk from the laser. But also it is good if you lift that object a little bit. In that case you can see the beam on the other side, so you can check if it is cutting or not. But also focus of the laser is a little bit above this uh, plate and it will have less uh, markings on the, on the steel plate mostly. Aluminum is less sensitive to this, but steel plate yes. And at the beginning I usually use this kind of wood, two pieces of wood and I place here the cutting material. And uh, that worked fine, but uh, when I wanted to cut some bigger object, uh, I noticed that it bends a little bit. Also it is problematic with uh, some softer materials like cardboard or something like that. Uh, it can also not be supported only on two sides. So I started to using these uh, honeycomb grids which, uh, is, so you can see it's transparent, so laser can go through it, but it supports very good even those uh, thinner, weaker materials. But uh, again, I have to place the steel plate on the other side. And as you can see, this one has a smaller leg, so I still want to see the laser beam on the other side. And now we have this F3 matrix cutting panel. Uh, just few specifications from the left side. The size is uh, 460 by 425 millimeters. It is made from aluminum alloy. And it has uh, smaller contact points, so there will be less uh, grid pattern from the smoke on the other side. According to the specifications, it has better smoke exhaust, which I'm not sure if I can test it or not. And it has also flattening fixture, so if we have some material which may bend or, or warp or something like that, in that case it will be holded with these uh, holders. From the package I can see it is definitely modular because this is much smaller than that area they mentioned. And I will just uh, assemble it and uh, do a few cuttings and compare the results with the honeycomb grid. This was in the box, user manual, and then these are parts for the fixture. And then other parts are prepared according to the steps. Step 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. This is left and right side and I have to connect them with the display here with uh, two bolts, one from each side. And I measured later, so this is a time lapse of approximately 3 minutes. Currently I don't feel the advantage that it is modular. For this assembling I needed approximately 5 or 10 minutes, but let's continue with the assembling, steps 3 and 4. And this is another speed up video and again I need it here 3 minutes. And now inserting these two rods from the back side. And fixing the position from the back side. It's assembled and I can do some quick conclusions now. So definitely using a honeycomb grid is simpler because we don't have to assemble it. But definitely this will be much easier for cleaning. Because with honeycomb it is very hard to clean here in this holes. And uh, here I can just use the brush between these slow blades. Now notice another thing that partly I can see through it so I don't feel too comfortable to place it directly on the desk. Because they claim I don't have to use any protection sheet below it. But I will test it, I will place some cardboard below it and I will check if I will see some marks during the cutting or not. Rubber legs, I'm removing the 3M sticker. Internally I don't have to use this protection sheet, but uh, first I want to ensure that uh, this really protects uh, the desk from the laser. So above this I will have this paper. I want to see if I will see some marks on this paper. This is Atomstack A20 Pro 20 watt diet laser, which is quite strong and great for cutting and also I will use it with the air assist. 
Now you notice another problem. It will be a little bit hard to see the lasers from the other side because if I use just the two pieces of wood I can lift it and I can see very comfortable, very easily the laser if it is passed through material. With the honeycomb grid I can also lift it higher and it goes to it and I can see on the other side. Here partly I can see maybe from this side here if the object is in the center, not, not close to the edge. The code is on the TF card. This is the real time speed and uh, actually I can see that the laser passed through this material. I'm using here 500 mm per minute speed, full power. I cannot see directly the laser from the other side but I can see the light it reflects through these channels. And also I can see how smoke goes out uh, through this channel, so the X out of the smoke is definitely very good. And this is the speed up with all. I cannot see the smoke size even on the other side, maybe on this small spot. These are the cutting out parts and the cleaning is very easy with this brush between these saw blades. And I can see a little bit the mark on this plate. I'm curious if it is visible on the other side too. Hmm, it's clean. And the paper is completely clean, these are particles from the wood which goes through the hole but it was even touching the panel from the bottom because it has this stomach but completely clean and now moving to the honeycomb grid focus is prepared And now I can see that the smoke comes back through these cells on the honeycomb grid. Just for the looks, uh, definitely much healthier is the cutting on that uh, new panel compared to this honeycomb grid. During the cutting I could see a lot of smoke which came back through these cells on the honeycomb grid. But actually on the wood I cannot see any big difference, see? So this was cut with new panels and this with honeycomb grid and both are very clean. The front side... And the back side. And these are cutting out parts on this uh, second cutting. And now quick conclusions, well probably you noticed that I tried to answer the question which one, the honeycomb grid or this new F3 matrix panel. Well the matrix panel uh, requires assembling, so this is the only disadvantage maybe I noticed so far. Uh, with the matrix uh, I really noticed that the smoke came back to those cells touching the object. With the new panel the exhaust of the smoke is much nicer through those channels. But in my case I couldn't notice any big difference on the surface or my wood which I cut. But I can imagine a situation where this smoke may color a little bit uh, the object which is cut and uh, it, they, it may have a difference. The cleaning of the panel itself, uh, yes it's easy with the brush I can go uh, in the channels with new panel. But it is not so big deal with the honeycomb grid. I mean if I lift it those particles will be on the protection plate which is on the desk. Uh, except the cleaning of the honeycomb grid itself is harder if I want to clean between cells too. At the beginning I was worried a little bit uh, if it will protect the desk, the new panel because I could saw so small holes through it. But you saw on that paper completely clean so definitely the laser cannot pass perpendicular to these uh, cuttings on holes. I checked the price difference is approximately $30 and actually you have to decide yourself are those few small advantages of the new panel worth those extra $30. If you have some other ex experience with this new panel or with the honeycomb grip you know few likes in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy and safe engraving.